Hey man, what's going on? Back to another video, man. It's your boy, Josh Reacts, man. If it's your first time being on my channel, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you do all that good stuff, man. And also make sure you follow me on my social media, which will be down below. As you guys can see, man, I got two invites with me, man. I'm gonna let them introduce themselves and we're gonna get straight to it, man. Let's go. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Max Banks, and you know what I'm saying? When I got a mirror, and I'm here with my dog, Josh, you know, we're about to do some reacting, bro. Gosh, and that's it, bro. And that's my dog over here. Uh -huh. Who's TK, bro? Who's TK? Who's man, TK? Grr, who's man, TK man. when I got? You feel me? But anyways, y'all, man, as you guys can see from the title, man, we got something special for y'all, man. Y'all know that the hot topic right now is Diddy. You know what I'm saying? So I had to come with something a little bit different on the channel, you know what I'm saying? No Diddy. No Diddy will I. So we're going to react to this. We're going to see what they're saying, you know what I'm saying? We're going to try to get through it as quick as possible. So without further ado, man, let's get straight to it. Yup. And I'm going to tell you right now, me and Dub C ain't never been to a Diddy party. As you all know, Diddy has been arrested, no, no, and now no, everyone is discussing the so-called Diddy parties, which are attended by many rappers and famous people, from Jay-Z to Leonardo DiCaprio. So However, ugly, there are rappers who kept so a distance dope. from Diddy. <laughs> One of them is 50 Cent, who has been bullying Yo. Puffy for many years now. One concert, 50 said that he will never attend Puffy's parties because he hugs you from the front and the back at the same time. What the fuck? That's why I'm going to the Puffy parties. Yo, 50's crazy, but this guy got to hold the back at the Boy, it's so, and then it's so like, you know, like some yeah, dumb yeah. shit about him. Somebody knew you didn't put that. You went to that, you went to that, I'm fine with it. That's mine. Can you teach yourself? I'm not saying this shit, I'm not saying this shit, I'm not saying this shit. I thought, I'm like, it's uncomfortable. I think I belong in the girls' barefoot. This shit, that's normal. And in 2018, 50 Cent called him gay after the latter offered Curtis to take him shopping. I don't call, I don't call, I said, let Let's, me read it. Let me read okay, it, Fifth. Oh my God. Sorry, I can no longer Shazam help you guys. <laughs> Soon you will all be happy. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow. Dinner thieves. And Peter's J. Oh, that's what I did. I'm on Sandy. What's the image? The drink champs. That one. Every day is a birthday on drink champs, goddammit. I'm in. So it's like you can't even tell his age. It's actually weird. No, it's I got notes now. I'm trying to get my life together. You know what I'm saying? Like, he said something fabulous, and he goes, "Yo, no, we, no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like, we need to party." What the? Yeah, no, no, we no, we're not. Yeah, 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 party. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is he talking about? Yo, what is he talking about? <laughs> 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 the is going off. The when people say that to me. What is he talking about? What is he talking about? And then it's going off. Then when people say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. He said he said something to me one time, a long time ago, at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the fuck? What, what did you just say? Let me move, man, before I do something. You're going to make me mess up the way. Earlier, they both surely had a normal relationship. And 50 could have been in Bad Boy Records. That never happened. The hate from 50 started in 2010, shortly after Diddy became Rick Ross's manager, who happens to be a longtime enemy of 50. The In The Club rapper said he believes that Diddy is making money off B.I.G.'s name. I quote, enough is enough. Biggie's name should never have become Diddy's black heart. When was the last time Diddy, Diddy really was yeah, yeah. bigging up his brother, oh, on, not on, bigging bro. up oh, his you know bank? Them, right? yeah, A little later, Diddy bro. couldn't take it anymore. Bro, and nice. during He's the BET like Awards too. 2010 yeah, post show, he that. said, check this out. I love my people. Stop the hate, man. Congratulate. Hate is for s You hating, you was and you're ashy and you're breasting. And you know who I'm talking to. You hating it. In 2012, everything led to a serious confrontation oh, no, between bro. Puffy and Stop, 50. Bro. Here's what Machine Gun Kelly, a witness to the confrontation, said. Pause that, pause that, pause that. Nah, nah, pause that. No, that's actually great too, though. Nah, nah, but bro. He says a lot in the text. Nah, nah, whatever. God, a picture like that of 50. Yo, bro, 50. Look at this guy. 
Fifty's looking Yo. for this guy, no cap, bro. What? He's probably gonna shoot him. Nah, but there's no way you can talk like that, fam. And there's pictures of you like now, bro. But it's because they used to be friends, so that's why he has so much information about Diddy. Yeah, it's facts. Yeah, I actually have to hate a nigga, bro. fam. But like, even the information he has, nobody can do anything to him because it's fifty. Nah, but no yeah, cap, door, yeah. Bro. And like, if they do something to him, that means he had real information, mm -hmm. and that's gonna show the public that he was not lying. So they're not gonna do anything to him. Yeah, it's true though, right? This doesn't even matter. Yeah, like, like, to but Puff was inside like, his trailer, so I, he he said it to somebody. He was like, "What kind of money Puff said he was getting again?" I don't know what happened. <laughs> I thought I thought it's all, it all like funny and sarcastic, and then like two seconds later, man, the whole gunplay thing. Is this machine thing gun or some shit? Okay, in 2014, yeah. 50 Cent posted a photo montage on Instagram that featured a photo of Steve Stout putting his arm around Diddy and Diddy face to face That's with gross. Rick Ross. I ain't saying nothing, out. but something ain't right. LMAO, 50 Cent That's said on his post. And now we come back to the year 2024. Mm. After the raid, which took place on the 25th of March, Curtis went off on trolling his longtime pal. At the beginning, he said, Now it's not did he do it, it's did he done. They don't come like that unless they got a case. A little later, a video surfaced online showing Diddy riding around Miami on a bicycle, and 50 just couldn't ignore that. Smile, bit. Smile. Damn, last seen on a bike. Diddy's popped. Further, he shared footage of Puffy and Tyson's awkward appearance together on the Keenan Ivory Wayans show in 1998. During the interview, Tyson held Diddy's hand up to show off his jewelry while saying, it truly is about the Benjamins, referencing his classic 1997 song with Biggie, Lil' Kim, and the Locks. Oh, it, it, it truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh, yeah, he's literally. It's Shelly and the Benjamin. When reposting the clip, however, Vicky Clint. He removed his he, hand from him. He played it off. Okay. He's like, it's all about the Benjamin trying to show, like, the, 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 chase, the watch and but shit. But he huh? was trying to remove his hand, like, yo, okay. chill, you know? But he was not trying to make a scene on the TV. It's fact, though. You can see the way he looks at him, though. But you know even, what I mean? Like, even what he was saying. And that uh -huh. Tyson wasn't happy with the positioning of Diddy's hand and was instead moving it away from him. Ha ha ha, look at Mike. Oh me. no, you're not gonna touch my ass, buddy. LOL, implying Puffy wanted to grope the champion boxer, 50 Cent rap. After Diddy was arrested by federal oh authorities, 50 Cent yeah, ran oh, to social no, media and even referenced yeah, the weird items the found in the mogul's home, rest? writing, Damn, here I am keeping good company with the Drew Barrymore show and I don't have 1,000 yeah. bottles of lube so at the what, house. Is not gonna sue him for that I told you, I told you, you can't trust him. Puffy done killed Tupac, man. 50 Cent has also repeatedly That's said true. that Fuck Diddy that ordered Tupac's murder and his best friend Eminem also I talked about it. In Kill Shot, he said, today you put on the hits, the day Diddy admits that he put the hit out, they got pop kill. Eh? Joe Diddy Budden Diddy recounted Diddy. how Diddy himself reacted to that. Puff said it's in his hands, and he said I can say it. Uh, and, and that's the end of that. Have fun with that one. He said, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing to say about it. It's in my hands. Eminem rapped about the possibility of Diddy ordering Pac's yeah, murder Eminem, in his new album, guys, The Death of Slim Shady. In the song Fuel, arguing that he will not beef with him since Diddy can order his murder just like he did with Pac through Keefy D. Keefy D is the person who went on many YouTube channels and recounted that he was involved with Tupac's murder as he knew Diddy personally. And according to the gangster's words, Diddy offered him $1 million for Pac's head. He was arrested last Yo, year for such bold yeah. statements. But what do you guys think the rap game would be like if Tupac was still alive? It's kind of like on, like it's almost unreal to even think about, like how would things be like if those two niggas, like Biggie and Tupac. Wait, 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 when did Tupac die again? Nineteen ninety-six. Bro, so? ninety-six, something like that. I feel like yeah, it would have been crazy because I feel like yo, if Tupac didn't die, I don't think Michael Jackson would have died. Magic Johnson would have died, or um, whatever. Michael this guy's Jackson. Done. <laughs> this guy just tweaked. Yeah, yeah, my Michael <laughs> Jackson, my <laughs> But nah, I feel good. like he wouldn't die though. Like he would never all die. Under the know? same like, shit, If Tupac bro. didn't die, I don't think Magic John, Michael Jackson, man, got whatever. The same mistake again. Michael Jackson, yeah. <laughs> Boy, I, yo, I don't know why I always think about Magic Johnson when I say Michael Jackson, <gasps> you know? Yo, it's two different people. You know, one nah, is no. one's dead, bro. <laughs> and in the same song, <laughs> Fuel, M delivered the following lines, which are definitely included in the top best punchlines in hip-hop history. P-E-R. 
Got so many essays. 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 Wait, he didn't just spell the word rapper and leave out a P, did he? And so R A P P E R spelled without a P spells raper or rapist, while S A S is short for sexual assault. Also, yeah. Eminem spoke Eminem out about Diddy and other songs on the same Diddy album. Booth. For example, in the Bad One track, he rapped about a Diddy party. And me offending you is nothing new. It is what I love to do. This is subterfuge just to screw with you. And yeah, this much is true. Sounds like something that Puff would do at a party with Aaron Hall, cause I just well, the been with you. Also, yeah, yeah. in the Antichrist been track, been Marshall been recalls been a been terrible been video been in which Diddy is beating up his ex-girlfriend Cass. She probably ran out the room with a deal though. He tried to feel gold punish, she said to chill. What kind of relationship they have with one another remains a mystery. But there's not concrete evidence that they ever had a good relationship. They were once on the same stage, when Diddy was handing Marshall a Grammy in 2003 for the best rap album. Oh, no. Many in the comments noticed that Puffy half-heartedly announced the winner. And the winner is Eminem, the Eminem Show. <laughs> Eminem, the Eminem Show. Diddy was most Eminem, likely Eminem. already offended by Eminem at the time, Eminem as Eminem Slim Shady was back then mocking him in tracks. Because you love me, did y'all expect so much of me? You little poopy bitch, get off me, go. Further, oh M God. wanted to hook up with his then girlfriend Jennifer Lopez, and who knows what kind of reaction did he had upon hearing that. Sorry, Puff, but I don't give a fuck if this chick was my own mother. I'd still fuck with no. Oh, the song no. was released in the year 2000, and in 2001, Diddy and Lopez so broke up, no which Suge Knight would no. go on to gloat about and mock. Whole thing about it, P Diddy, P whatever. We need to leave Puffy alone. Anytime a guy goes on national TV, express how much he loved this woman, how much he needs this woman, how much he missed this woman, and just, just do everything he can for this woman. And she turns around and drops me for a dancer. So when you were in prison and you'd see that J-Lo broke up with P. Diddy, you would laugh at that. That's, in other words, it's very disrespectful. It's very disrespectful. Made him look bad? Made him look like a bitch. Initially, Suge and Puff were good friends. You know, I was just networking with the brother, and um, he would come pick me up from the airport, show me a lot of love. You know, I really had thought we were, were, were cool, you know what I'm saying? Right. Cool acquaintances, you know what I'm saying? Just being respectful from right. people coming into other cities and stuff. At that time, Suge already had the Death Row label, while Puff had just founded Bad Boy Records. He was preparing Biggie's album, Ready to Die. And Puffy was interested in finding out weird. Suge's opinion about that release. That he die. even asked to have the instrumentals the from the album. But Suge was surprised now. by Puffy's audacity, oh, which he talked about in an interview. Um, all Death Row is all through that fucker. To give an example, oh, yeah. let's take crazy. intro from yeah. Biggie's album. Weird. And that in it, is, we hear a sample from Snoop Dogg's song, The Shiznit. In general, Shug was seriously angered by this. He was also pissed off that Puff tried to appear in every one of his protégé's projects. He didn't allow the artist to grow. Yeah, so Briefly speaking, tracks. according to Shug's opinions, everywhere. Bad Boy Records needed fame, not money. In addition to all that, Tupac wanted to become a member of Shug Knight's label, whom, at the time, was in prison. Pac and Puffy were on friendly terms, but then, Everything changed, and Pac accused Diddy of taking part in a robbery that happened in New York at Quad Recording Studios. This is why Tupac's enemy became Suge Knight's enemy. And so, at the Source Awards in 1985, Suge went out and said, Any artist out there want to be an artist and want to stay a star and don't want to, and won't have to worry about the executive producer trying to be all in the videos, all on the record, dancing, coming death row. With tension in the air after Big Suge's comment, Puffy said he fell back on greenlighting the situation on death row, saying it was the scariest situation of his entire life having the power to start something. I had that, I ran up and I asked him and he said, no, nah, I was talking about Jermaine Dupree. Mm, and I was wow, just like... Wow. I, re I really put to my, I put it in my head, it gave me a reason for my ego to walk away. Next, a confrontation occurred in Atlanta between Death Row and Bad Boy Records in which Suge Knight's friend Big Jake was killed. In an interview, Puff said that when he saw Big Jake shot, 
He went up to Shook, and the latter yelled at him, saying that it's his doing. While Puff was at a loss, and asked him how he could have been a part of that incident when, just like Shook, he could have gotten shot. Generally speaking, and in any case, Shug was terribly angry at Puffy, and at one death row party, a person from Bad Boy Records showed up. Shug, together with his gangsters, beat up the guy nearly to death in hopes of finding out where Puff is. The most disturbing part of all that is that they forced him to drink urine. <laughs> he might have got a few punches, and he probably drunk about 20 shots of piss. You know what I mean? Literally. Suge Knight is currently in prison, but this didn't prevent him from speaking out about the latest news of his long-term acquaintance, warning him that he's in danger. Your life's in danger. Your life's in danger. You gotta make sure you don't fuck with and when it comes to Pac, Pop you all know how it ended. <laughs> However, it is a fact that Pac hated Puffy up until his death. He dissed him a few times in his tracks, particularly on Hit Him Up. I think Puffy did it. No, no, but it doesn't make sense. It makes sense. one of the best tracks in the family. Now it makes sense. Bro, niggas are saying it's like, my niggas are saying it's fucking supposed to be like a gang related type of shit, bro. But how is, bro? How can niggas slide on you, bro? And you're telling me the ops are not gonna slide? What, bro? The ops are sliding on you? You're not gonna slide back? There's something going on with this fucking shit, bro. Like it's set up or something, man. Like, you know? From the like it's government they, control, they, some type of shit. Like these that, niggas you know? are under record labels. Bro, so when you're under record label, you can't just be like, yeah, fuck that nigga. He this me, I'm gonna go shoot him. Yeah, you gotta pay people. Fam, you can't do that. You have to pay people to do that shit. That's what Puffy no, was doing because man. Puffy. Was the one beefing Tupac because Biggie and Tupac were beefing. Fam, they so never, Puffy bro. was the one doing all the other shit behind, but Fam, Biggie never did they shit. They never even showed the body though. They never even showed the body. Where's Fam. the body, man? Tupac? Yeah, but where's what, the body, what fam, man? Like, what do you mean, what would it show it, fam? Bro, th yo, this has to be something that they know, man. They don't even know where the body is. So you think he's alive? Type shit. Bro, no, I don't think it's alive, man. I got bad. There's some shit that the government was doing at that time, fam. Like, yo, Puffy is probably like, yo, bro, this guy's a big guy, man. You know? Obviously, what do you think? The government bro. is connected with the music industry. That's what I'm yeah. saying, fam. There's it's something the same, going on, thing. fam. There was something going on with that Puff Street. It's, it's all about power. It's all about power. He's got videos and all of them, bro. It's all about power. I don't know. For life, plus Puffy trying to see me weak. Hearts are ripped. And in his post mortem album, The Don Columinati, The Seven Day Theory, in Against All Odds. Diddy admitted in an interview that hit him up still hurts to this day. That joint was cold. We would take your turntables. You played hit him up. You know what I'm saying? That's how. That's how cold. Mm -hmm. That that thing hurt to this day. In some instances, Puffy's own artists from Bad Boy Records did not even respect him. A chair was once thrown at the label's boss. The Locks joined Bad Boy Records in 1995. However, years later, the members were ready to leave Bad Boy because their hardcore rap style fit poorly with the label's creative direction. They did everything possible to legally free themselves of the contract, but Jada Kiss recounted what eventually led to the fact that Diddy finally allowed the rappers to carry on with their careers without Bad Boy. Uh, it was probably when the, it was probably after the argument with Diddy when Diddy when Styles threw the chair at Puff. That was probably the last straw for that. However, even after leaving, the guys continued to have conflicts. <laughs> and Jadakiss called Diddy a coward. The big sign on it. I'm going to be here. The whole national guards downstairs. Cut it out, man. We can't talk. I'm a grown-ass man, man. You're a coward. And I don't take nothing. You're, you're a thief, you're a coward. Don't say you're, you're a thief. Okay. You're a thief. Come to the office, man. Come to the office and we can straighten it out then. Yo! How we can, we just three guys you don't even yo, mess yo, with. You had your ace tools publishing. You, call me you, you won't want. let his publishing go. The, he cut him, he cut. the point of that conflict yeah, revolved bro. around the idea that the saying. locks you know wanted Diddy to share the wealth of their success and pleaded for their publishing. They claimed 
that Diddy owned 50% of their publishing. Diddy later told Hot 97's Angie Martinez that he owned 20% and has made 400,000 off the locks. A rep for the group later refuted Diddy's claim with legal documentation countering his statement. Sometime later, they reconciled and performed at the Bad Boy Family Reunion Tour. However, in 2023, the Locks were preparing for the show Locks and Friends 50th Anniversary of Hip Hop. Puff will not be there. <laughs> Oh, so I said, I'm man. not even playing with y'all. We yeah, got to go team. Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. Yeah, have y'all spoke to him or, or no? Not at all. Nah, who? man. To my Diddy. Stout said, who? Oh, right, never no, no. As usual, Diddy made a fool of himself and said that that never happened. Like, what made you put hands on Drake? Um, I did not put hands on Drake. Oh. And I do not want any problems with Drake. Drake is right now. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> That's all I, I have to say. He's putting in his work. I didn't, put, I didn't do nothing to Drake. We're not. Drake is my friend. That? That? <laughs> Drake, on the other hand, never publicly addressed the incident, but some speculated that he might have dissed Diddy on his song 4 p.m. in Calabasas, where he rapped. He even had the OGs try and press me. Ha 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 ha. No way out because I'm already in it. Diddy is certainly an OG in the game. And the way that Drake says, ha 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 appears to mock the way Diddy said it during Can't Nobody Hold Me Down. We're trying not to lose our heads. <laughs> Recently, Drake published screenshots of the 2015 film The Big Short, particularly a scene where Ryan Gosling's character said, I never hung out with these idiots after work, ever. I have fashion friends. Fans think this is Drizzy's way of saying he didn't stick around for Diddy's infamous parties in the 2000s, where he allegedly had his events turn into environments for intense and often violent sexual activities after a certain time. And if Drake was, as usual, sneak dissing, then Kanye West was always blunt. And he could have easily told Diddy to fuck off. And the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public and I didn't have the address of my child. None of these niggas want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address, though. Travis gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll get because you can't you shoot nobody you anyway. And the reason why you got talks is because you did a deal, fucking fan. Yay and Puffy had a conflict in 2022 you know? when Diddy gave an interview for The Breakfast Club saying that. He did not agree with Kanye's decision to wear the, quote, White Lives Matter t-shirt, but wouldn't condemn him either. Kanye found out about that and texted Puffy about it. In the text, he recounted to him everything on his mind. And at the end of this long text, he said, Come do something illegal to me now, please. And then, when Diddy responded to him that he wants to meet up in person and talk, the latter said, Fuck you, you fed. In this year. Rolling Loud took place in Los Angeles. <laughs> Kanye West so performed there. Diddy wanted to talk and discuss everything that was happening between them. In the end, Ye ignored him, there? showing him that he's no, absolutely no. not in a Come do something illegal to me now, please. And then, when Diddy responded to him that he wants to meet up in person and talk, the latter said, Fuck you, you fed. Right in this year, no, Rolling Loud took place in Los Angeles. Kanye West performed there, not interested in having this conversation. And Gucci Mane dedicated an entire diss track, which is called No Diddy. He raps No Diddy 119 times. I'm in a room full of hoes, no diddy. More money, more oh problems, my no God, diddy. the Ashley Cobb, yeah, the Ashley Cobb, the Ashley Cobb, the next video that I recommend you to watch is about why Diddy is accused of Tupac's murder. Thanks everyone for watching. Yeah, if you liked our video, like, don't forget to hit the like button. Oh, yeah, this be is super show. important. This guy is like the He's mega good. mind on this on the shit, whole bro. music. Like, you know what I mean? Every, like, he just, knows bro. every single person. And this guy, he's signed. been doing this, like, bro, he's been doing this since he was a young and fam, you know? Like, every, bro, he, he, run, bro, he started, he started like this, running fucking parties, you know what I mean? Bringing celebrities to parties and all that shit. Doing crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, contracts, they say some crazy shit, he killed them. So they have to do all that. That's why all these niggas don't want me to be saying too much. You know Justin right? Bieber, fam, 
all those niggas. Yeah, well, they I all feel sorry for Meek Mill. Well, you, you, you know what I heard he does? What do you mean sorry for Meek Mill? Yeah, you know what? He's a grown ass man. You know what I heard he does? What you know fuck? what I heard they do? Uh, Apparently, what they do is him. He tells those niggas to take an egg and put it up their ass. And then if it cracks, that means they're not ready to take dick in their ass. What the fuck? It's literally man? documented. And that's what, and that's the, and that's, <laughs> Yo, and that's, and that's crazy. a ritual. That's what he do. Fuck. Nah, man. fam, he's been doing this what and running the whole industry for years, bro. Like, let me not find out what this guy's background is, man. Nigga. What the fuck? Bro? What, do you, what do you think? Nah, look it up. Is? Let's see what it is. It's probably some Haitian. Oh, bro, let me I see. don't even want to say too much, bro. No. He's from the islands for sure. I know he's not from Africa. No way. This nigga trying to send him over to us. Nah, I don't know. I don't think he's trying to send him nowhere. Fam. I'm not even gonna send him back. I'm just gonna send him to the United States, New York, Carlin. Nah, nah, bro. Like. His bro, parents, African-American fam. Search his parents, his parents. Search his parents, you'll see. New York. What the fuck? The Bronx. Man. Colonized. Anyways. But anyways, y'all, that's my reaction, man. If y'all enjoyed it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video, man. Peace out. Bow.